Yo guys, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed the intro. It really helps me out. And right here, this is a game in D1 to a very low master MMR. We're playing against Silas and also Broxa on Morgana Jungle. Just found him on his smurf randomly, which is kind of funny. Um, but against Silas, I like to go Conqueror. This page right here. Although I can, or you can go Scorch as well instead of Nimbus. I just like Nimbus and Ignite because it's pretty fun. And yeah, I think this is probably the best page against Silas. Uh, it's slightly better than Electrocute, and I think First Strike is probably the worst one against him. But yeah, uh, I was trying out Voltaic Rush. I think it was not that bad, even though it's, it's a bit silly to go Voltaic with Conqueror. Uh, I was just having some fun with it. And yeah, let's see how this game goes. So I don't ward the Wraiths on the enemy team because Jin was there when I checked like 15 seconds ago, which is fine. We don't want to risk. And usually you can hit the wave if you want. I probably should have hit the first minion. Uh, maybe like twice, but I didn't see him. But when you see Silas, it's a bit dangerous to hit the minions. Because in between your auto attacks, he can jump in. And then right there, I misplay by taking E when he used Q. It was a bit of a misclick. I was waiting to see what he had. And if he E'd in, then it's fine to go E start. Um, but since he went Q, obviously I should go Q start. I don't know, I just literally misclicked. Um... Which is fine, I just hold my E in case he goes in. He's about to hit level 2, so I E as well right there to get it first. And then Q him. Just keep the conk stack. Conk stack. Um, and you have to be a bit careful. So he uses Q, I know he's on cooldown. I Q him and I E the minion. Um, right there he uses W, so I know he only has W and Q. So I take an extended trade like this. Auto attack, E auto attack. Flash auto, and then Q. He just didn't flash my Q thinking my Q probably wasn't up and that he would survive after the last auto attack. But then he dies. So <laughs> we take the freebie and then we shove the wave and go base. So it's a bit silly the way it was played out because this usually isn't how the early game goes against Silas. Usually he goes E start and he like E's into the minions and you have to like hug the like backline minions and stuff. Um, I'll also leave a Silas guide in the description. I just remember that I have one on the channel so... You can check that out if you're more interested in the, the matchup. So as I'm coming back to the lane, I'm thinking about what to do with the wave. I could let it crash and the first three minions would like die while the backline minions would be outside tower. I think that would have been better. Instead, I just go for like the level four like this, which is very greedy. I fight him in his minions, so I end up losing the trade kind of, even though um, it should have been like more heavily in my favor because I'm level four to level three. But if I played it a bit slower, let the first three minions crash and then get level four and then zone him for longer. You know, W, E, Q, maybe not take the W, stuff like that. Um, you know, playing it more patiently would have given me more control and would have allowed me to actually hold the wave there for a longer period of time. Um, but now I'm getting a slow push into him, which is kind of fine. I see Morgana in the river, so I'm like, oh, I should just go in because he's running towards the crab, trying to smite it, which he does. Um... I see Silas is pushing the wave, so instead of chasing this Morgana, I realize I need to go back to mid, and I go straight back, knowing that I missed one minion of XP, but I don't want to miss any more. Um, well, I think I missed one minion, no idea. But we kill the Morgana, the movement gets him, which is kind of lucky, and I get back to lane. Rookie mistake would be to chase the Morgana right there, but if you have a look at mid and stay aware, then you would know that you need to go back to lane, otherwise you'll miss too many minions. Which will make you fall really far behind. And if you fall behind in XP against Silas, it becomes very, very silly to play. Or like, difficult, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I just go back to mid, shove the waves, he bases and I base as well. Make sure I get boots so that I can run back to lane fast. It's pretty good. Um, and usually, if you see the enemy has boots, you should buy boots as well. Uh, that's usually how it goes. So you can just match them uh, a lot better. And as I'm coming back to lane again... Uh, this time I look at my wave, I see it's a cannon minion wave, so I decide, well, I should maybe just hold this because he's going to roam. And this does one of two things, he will either just roam away, or he will come back to the lane and shove it in. Uh, if they come back to lane, when you do this, you should just let them shove the wave in, otherwise you'll take too much damage. But I managed to get a freeze, which is good. But then I do this rubbish where I use my Qs before he uses E. You should always hold your Qs, so if I W E there... I should let him E and then use my W to dodge his E2 and then use my Qs. 
So I had to ignite and then run at him uh, because I missed my cues and I was like, well, this is the only opportunity I'm going to get to trade level 6 to 5. So I just do that. He flashes, which is silly because he didn't. I don't think he would die. But yeah, that's pretty lucky. And then right here, we want to shove the wave. But we want to be nice and careful because we have low energy. Cue that one. I left a W, but I didn't have energy to E. So it's fine. We got the XP and we run away. Um, so on that last wave, as I was shoving it, it's important not to like walk up when you have low energy and you don't have W or ult or ignite. If I walked up there and I got chunked, Senna could have killed me because she came from the right anyways. And in general, Silas probably could have killed me as well. So stuff like that, like just pushing it slower is important. Even though right here I base and he has a freeze now, it's still important to not die, I would say. So just miss the minions here. I think I missed three minions as I'll just show it. Worth of XP, which is completely fine because I'm back to lane now. I'm level seven still, I'm still up at XP and I'm completely chilling, right? So, yeah, just be just be as careful as you can, basically, in, the, in these early games. Uh, and try to look for as much control as possible so that you don't fall behind. So now I have HP advantage. I use W backwards, which is pretty bad. You should use your W back against Silas when he uses E. But my reactions are just not it this game, which is fine. Um, I see the next wave is coming and I can probably freeze it because I can see my wave behind me. And I don't have to tank, which is great. We walk up, WE him, take the cannon first, and then Q. Just looking for conk stacks. I was about to take the W, but then I realized maybe I shouldn't. So then I just walk up and ult. That was pretty trolled by me. <laughs> I should take the W and then just walk up to him. I think I'll rewind it and show you. So if I just rewind this, this is really trolled by me. So I use WEQ. I have four conk stacks, which is pretty good. So I should just take the W as he walks up right there. I should take it right now. Um, and then just walk up and auto E and then ult him. Or walk up and then get his E and then ult him. Right? Um, that would be much, much better. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. I'm trolling, but it's fine. <laughs> um, but either way, he's low and I have a nice little push here. So if I forward it a bit, he's basing. I push, but then I see with my shadow that he's staying. Which is good. That's fine. Just going to shove the wave. And since he's staying, I want to stay as well. Just to walk up to see. But then I realize, oh, maybe he's based. Never mind, he's still here. He takes my ult, so I walk up. Just waiting for him to use it. Place the W behind. Throw the Qs behind you when Silas ults you with your ult. Um, I didn't have enough damage, but either way, it's fine. Now I think he gets away with 1 HP and he recalls. Which is obviously fine. Because I entered the all-in. So I'm not playing too well this game. But I'm still doing okay in CS. And I haven't died yet. So there's that. So now I'm coming back to lane. Uh, I want to show you a little mistake you could make with the minion wave. So right here. This wave is pushing to me quite heavily. On his side of the lane. So what's going to happen is the next wave is going to crash in. And be pretty strong. I'm going to get a nice big wave here. So I just E one of the minions only. Silas is bot because I think he's trolling. He's kind of given up with his lane. Um, so a rookie mistake would be to push that wave um, that I came to initially in the lane. Because that wouldn't give me this nice little freeze here that I can use against Jin. This is very, very nice. I see Senna, so I just go in knowing I could probably one-shot him. And you can ult Senna W so it doesn't root you. Like that. I walk up, auto, E, W, Q. Kill him. Easy peasy, double kill. But this wouldn't happen if I, I think, had a more bad minion wave. <laughs> so if I shoved that first wave that I initially came to lane to, I feel like it's a lower chance of me actually getting this fight. And a lower chance of me, yeah, just having that fight where they would kind of need to walk up to shove the wave. Or they feel more safety from their minions, even though they're not really safe, I guess, as well. So there's a lot of little factors that go into it. And I end up going straight top because I see the angle to kill the Atrox if it's not warded. He uses E, so I'm like, yeah pretty free we go in and then he flashes and i'm like oh if he heals up we're gonna die but then we kill him right before the center ult comes through which is kind of lucky um so yeah we get a free kill and then i walk over to the grubs and i help him a bit uh, another thing with these grubs when you help your jungler don't take the first grub because they need it for their smite or something someone told me that when i was streaming like a few weeks ago so 
There you go, it's another tip. As I come back to mid, I actually misplay. Uh, pushing this wave, I should have taken into account Silas' teleport was up. So as I shove it and I try to base, I take my W, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take the plating, but then he has TP. I think if I don't go for the plating, it's way better. But right there, when Silas says Leona ult, or against Leona ult in general, you want to run away, but then run to the side as soon as you think they can use it. And I was going to flash if I thought it would stun me, but it didn't, so I got lucky. And now I need to stay because I've misplayed, and I have 2,000 gold. So I ping on my way, and I go in after Silas has no E, use my spells, because I know Umumu is coming through. He hits a spell and I Q to kill him, or to help Umumu kill him. But yeah, right there I made sure I stay out of vision. Something I should note, so if I rewind it, I stay out of vision, and I let Silas use his E on the wave. There's the chain, and then I go in. Knowing that Amumu's coming as well, it's fine. Even if Amumu wasn't coming, it's fine to do that, because then I chunk him, and I get a bit more of an even playing field against him in terms of health. Now I'm super duper strong, coming back to lane with a bunch of items. Something to note is when you have 6 grubs, you're usually much better off just staying in lane as long as the platings are up. So for example right here, the Mundo is top and Silas is top, but I have 6 grubs, I have a bunch of items, I know I can get this tower for sure, so I stay mid. Uh, when you have more grubs, it's usually better to just stay instead of roaming after pushing. Um, but all the t like either way, you want to push the waves, so yeah, just, you know... Doing that got me like a thousand gold, you know, way more gold, so it's better to do that and then move top, which is what I do. I see a ward, but then I realize Morgana is there, so I just WW to gap close. And now I'm thinking about how to play this. I'm probably just going to go for Morgana first. So I flash onto him, ult him, ignite and auto. I know he's dead to that. And then I W onto the Silas. Make sure I kill him as well. Slowly but surely. Make sure I walk to the side on his E as well, just for the style points. But yeah, Morgana died on the other end as well. And we get a few kills. Not too shabby. Now I have 2,100 gold. I think I only had like 100 at the beginning of this clip. So there you go. Right here, I see the enemies are on Herald. And I'm mid, so I make sure to shove the cannon wave first. Especially because my team is quite far away. And I see the ward in there, so I don't rush. I go this way. Place the pink ward. And there's no ward, so I just go in. Kill the center. He wooded a bit too late. E them both right there to get my W back. And then I W ult onto Morgana. He hits his Q, but it's fine. We kill him. We jump around. Looking cool. Jump on that guy. Kill him as well. Quick triple kill. But yeah, the important part about this is I didn't rush to the Herald. I pushed the wave first. And then even when I was flanking, I saw the ward there. And I knew that my team was far away, so I needed to stall for time. And going the longer way around, which is the safer path allowed me to stall but yeah that's basically the end of this game because they surrender so yeah thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one i hope it was useful and all that stuff peace